Do you experience back pain? 80% of Americans will suffer lower back pain at some point in their lives. Why? It's because we are not carrying things correctly. That's what all the experts say. Uh, in fact, when I was researching for my own lower back pain the other day, I found this great saying, it's not the load that breaks you, it's the way you carry it. People have tweaked their backs, picking up Kleenex, picking up Legos from the ground because they're not lifting correctly. And here's some of the ways that they say that you should lift. Stand with your feet shoulder apart, bend at the knees, then use your leg muscles to lift because they're stronger and do not twist. You can carry a really heavy load if you're doing it correctly, if you're allowing your big leg muscles to help you lift. Well, how true is that same principle spiritually? We're all bearing a heavy load right now. Life is weird. There's so much division, so much chaos happening. But what we've been talking about in this series really is it's not the weight of the load. It's how you carry it. We've been focused on Philippians 4, 4 through 8 in January, but there's really a corollary passage, isn't there? In 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, it says, Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. you got to cast your anxiety on him because he cares for you. No, God cares for you so much, but you cast it on him, then you leave it there. Here is how to do some spiritual heavy lifting as Max Lucado talked about in the book, celebrate God's goodness, ask God for help. Then leave your cares there. When you're casting your anxiety on God, you're casting them, right? You're throwing them. And it's not a game of fetch. <laughs> you're leaving your cares there. And then as we talked about this last weekend, you meditate on good things. That spells calm. I hope as we go throughout 2021, that spiritual heavy lifting technique is going to stick with you and benefit you no matter what we face. Hey, speaking of being uplifted, don't forget this weekend is WOW World Outreach Week. If you ever feel like, man, the coronavirus and government restrictions and the economy, national division, it's all so terrible that God can't possibly work. Uh, no, the coronavirus has not conquered. You know, government restrictions or economic fallout or, or national division. Those things are not stopping God from working. God is working in amazing ways, both at Twin Lakes Church and around the world. And you are going to be hearing about that in first-hand reports this weekend. Don't miss World Outreach Week. It's going to be so exciting. Hope to see you there in person or virtually. God bless.